Well, celebrating the 40th anniversary of the... Sandman? Shagging the wagon. Sandman. Sandman. I thought it was uh, a lunar vehicle or something. <laughs> a lure in sight. <laughs> Special limited offer from Holden, the new Holden Sandman. Equipped to make it your greatest holiday ever. Well, the Sandman was the iconic Aussie car. To be able to put the surfboards on the roof, throw your mates in, go to the beach, be able to surf all day, obviously sleep in the back, get up the next morning at sunrise, it symbolised Australia. What you get is sports instruments and chrome trim. Four-speed shift is standard. Power blow-through ventilation that will bring in outside air. Special striping and 16-inch rally wheels. It's been awesome that Holden's Trust asked to uh, bring back some of their heritage from 40 years ago with the Sandman. The tailgate and top hatch open fully and independently. Doesn't that make good sense? Cool concept into the most modern day race technology of all time. Mold the two together and there you've got Project Sandman. All adds up to quite a machine. Sandman, you be easy. RD pulled me into the side and said, I've got another project for you, Ty. And I said, oh yeah. So wait, what do we got this time? The initial idea of Ultimate Sandman on the 40th anniversary of the original vehicle came from me as a way of trying to create a vehicle, embody something special from the Holden stable, give our customers and our fans, our sponsors, a different ride experience. If I could pick one car from the history of Holden uh, and the history of Australia, it would definitely be the Sandman. The brief was to make a, you know, a pretty spectacular car. So we're taking the, the old icon that is the Sandman and mixing it in with the new V8 Supercar technology. When I first took the, the idea to Holden, they thought I was probably a bit crazy. It's just so exciting and it's really hard to control yourself when, you, when you've got a blank piece of paper and a pencil and you're trying to come up with these ideas because everything's just going through your head so fast. Yeah, street machine kind of value to it, very nicely done, really well finished and a tough race car. With our 888 Sandman, it's definitely different to what's been done in the past. This is a, a full-blown race car. We have gone absolutely to town on this thing. It's got a stroker engine in it, so there's no doubt that it's going to be faster than our V8 supercar on a straight line. It's got a bigger wheel. The traction that it's going to be able to use that engine to put to ground, I think, is better than what we currently have in a V8 supercar. We've had uh, one or two teething problems along the way and we'll probably have a, a couple more. Try and take it in our stride and learn from them and it's been fun to get our heads around some new challenges. It's a one-off design. It's uh, built here by our fabricators. So it all had to be hand fabricated and, and fitted and welded in place. It's a very substantial project in terms of the effort that's gone into making it and a beautiful piece of detailing and engineering art. We've gone for quite a, a few big steps. Uh, the main ones we wanted was obviously the look of the car. We wanted that first and foremost. Then we wanted the fly-by-wire and the paddle shift. Which is something we've never seen in V8 supercar. You might be able to hear that's the pneumatic shift. So instead of having a, a mechanical gear lever as the V8 supercars do, um, we've gone to paddle shift. Something that you might see in a Formula One car today. On um, the current V8 supercars, we have a, a cable-operated throttle system. In our Sandman, we have changed that to fly-by-wire. So there's actually no mechanical connection from the throttle bodies to the driver's foot. Not just to be ahead of the game, it's to then suggest it to V8 supercars and say, hey, look, we've got a proven system. Everyone can now use this. It's a holistic view that we want the category as a whole to, to grow and progress. Ludo's working on, on some surfboards for the top, so we're hoping we don't lose that at turn one, so stay tuned for that. More horsepower, more grip, faster straight line. I think that uh, anyone that gets a chance to drive or sit behind the wheel of the Sandman, I think are gonna uh, get out of the car with a huge smile on their face. And to hear that uh, Aussie V8, I think it's gonna be spectacular.
this is it. This is the first laps of the Triple Eight Holland Sandman. I mean, it was a brand new car this morning. You've got to be careful. You don't get caught up in the fact that it's new and uh, and shiny and cool, and and don't do the basics. Let's do it. Surfboards on the roof makes it a bit loose in the rear, like a good wagon should handle. Everyone's just checking over the car, and uh, hey, she's actually fairly spotless. He came in and said it was uh, it was fantastic, and the really big thing to work on was was the gear change and the interaction with the engine fly by wire. Spent a bit of time getting the up change nice, getting the down change feeling uh, nice and sweet into the corner. Coming together, we've made a lot of progress in sort of 25 laps so far. At the end of the day, we, we love cool cars, which is exactly what a Vout supercar is. We, we love building cool cars. We're petrol heads, we like noise, we like power. The Sandman stands for that. For me personally, it's been a great project. I've enjoyed every part of it. It shows what we are capable of doing. And also, I think for the V8 supercar, the wider community, it, um, it just draws another level of excitement. See the car cruise around the streets. Obviously, the surfboard's on the roof. No doubt there's going to be some groceries in the back. What better place to debut it than a racetrack right beside the beach at the Gold Coast 600?